Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, the Mad Tiger, and up here today, guys, I'm back here with another uh, gaming news video. Um, just want to talk about some of the big news in gaming, um, and one of the ones that I want to talk about mostly today is Sony acquired, hopefully, Sony are in deals with Konami to take some of Konami's big franchises to be Sony exclusive. Now, um, the main three franchises that have been talked about are Metal Gear, Silent Hill and Castlevania. And I'm going to talk about each individual one and what I think will, will come of each individual series. Now, um, before I get into, into anything, we want to talk about Konami's whole history and we also want to talk about Hideo Kojima. Now, we all know Hideo Kojima worked on the Metal Gear Solid franchise and the Metal Gear franchise and how amazing his, his, uh, the Metal Gear franchise was. And we know about that whole Konami screwing over Kojima when it came to Metal Gear Solid 5. And, you know, half of the game was really good. And then the other half when he was basically, you know, screwed over. Um, uh, you know, and then Metal Gear Solid 5 sort of went downhill. It was still a good game, but the... You know, it, it started off really good and then the game just sort of went downhill. You could tell when Ho Kojima stopped working on it. And we also know about the whole Silent Hill PT, the Silent Hills, um, th the whole thing that happened with that, you know, this Silent Hill PT demo was made and it was like a, an amazing, you know, horror um, game. And, you know, Kojima basically got screwed over by Konami. And, you know, basically that game never came to be. And then we all know about the whole PlayStation 4s with the Silent Hill PT demo included were being sold on eBay and, and, and all over the internet dirt cheap. And, um, you know, Silent Hill was, was, was a series that, you know, all three games, Castlevania, Silent Hill and Metal Gear are three massive Konami franchises. Now, you know, Konami have, have been known throughout history to make some of the best games back in the day you know they made the Contra series on the NES and the Super Nintendo of course the Metal Gear series the Castlevania series you know Konami was known for making amazing games throughout history and unfortunately Konami as of late have been well less than subpar you know a lot of their games as of late have been really disappointing with you know Contra 3 Alien Wars um, sorry, Contra Road Corps on the Nintendo Switch and the other system was a very big disappointment. You know, this game is just a, a very average twin stick shooter with Contra just slapped on there, you know. So, you know, you know, Konami just sort of have given up with their games. And it's a shame, really, because, you know, Konami used to make some amazing games. It would be so cool to get, you know, a new Contra game. A lot of people would be happy with a traditional Contra game or a new Castlevania game. You know, Castlevania went off on a, a crazy tangent with the 2D Castlevania games sticking to the, uh, the Game Boys and the, the Nintendo DS and the PSP, whereas the, the, um, the consoles, we got the 3D Castlevania hack and slash games like the Lords of Shadow games. And you know, those games aren't bad. It's just a lot of people who were die-hard fans of the classic Castlevania games were a little bit disappointed that, you know, we didn't get a traditional Castlevania game. Now, we did get the Bloodstained games, the two Bloodstained games, and there are other, you know, indie-style Castlevania games that, you know, really, you know, the Bloodstained series was, was like a massive nod. You know, we had the Bloodstained um, Curse of the Moon game, which was a massive nod to Castlevania 3. And then we had uh, Ritual of the Night, which was more like uh, uh, Symphony of the Night, basically. And, you know, so in a way, Castlevania did continue, but it weren't from Konami. And, you know, people were disappointed in that. And, you know, I can't really think of too many Konami games off the top of my head that have come out these last couple of years that have been really, really amazing games or nothing that really stands out to me. Just because it just goes to show that Konami have have really lost their way. You know, when you think of other companies like Capcom, you know, for a while Capcom were, was like a dormant for a while. And then they brought out the Resident Evil 7 and the Resident Evil 2 remake and with 3 remake on the way. They did continue on with Mega Man. 
technically and you know Capcom have been on fire as of late whereas Konami and Capcom were sort of like rivals back in the day because you know they were two you know in the early 90s and the early 2000s Konami and Capcom were the big and even the 80s were the big two uh, Japanese companies that were really putting out some of the best games you ever played and it's a shame that Konami have just sort of given up as of late now why they're making this deal with sony um and hideo kojima now we all know that hideo kojima worked on the death stranding game and um the death stranded game and that game got mixed reviews some people loved it thought it was an amazing game it was something truly original other people just felt the game was very um subpar and was more artsy than anything else i personally haven't played death stranded so i can't really give my opinions on it but it does seem like a game that i would play and probably appreciate it for what it is not what it's trying not to be and you know kojima himself basically said you know this game isn't meant for the the die hard you know fans of the action you know genre it's something different now when we look at other konami games you know kojima games like metal gear solid for example you know metal gear solid was one of the best stealth action games and it's a shame that metal gear solid 5 while it was a good game it didn't live up to it doesn't still hold up as well as the originals you can just see the difference uh, what I mean is if you go up back and play Metal Gear Solid like 3 for example This game still holds up. It's an amazing game. The story was great. The characters were great It was groundbreaking. It really broke a lot of boundaries. Metal Gear Solid 5 on the other hand Did try to do something different, but it, it, it doesn't hold up as well as um, You know say the originals do and the same thing with the Silent Hill series. We had the original Silent Hill games on the PlayStation 1 and even the PlayStation 2. I have Silent Hill 2 and 3 there. And then we had a couple of uh, um, other spin-offs like the Silent Hill 4, Shattered Memories, and then there were a few uh, Xbox 361, Downpour and you know Homecoming. But Silent Hills or Silent Hill PT was gonna be this amazing game. And you know, there was there was actually a, an article I read it a while back saying that Silent Hill was gonna be a game that broke a lot of boundaries and you would have to sign a, a release form or something for it and it would basically gain access to your personal you know email and send you texts and things and it would it was something that was going to be groundbreaking you know it sounded like a really intricate game and it's unfortunate that didn't happen but with this deal that sony and konami are working on Will, Ko Will Kojima, because Death Stranded was actually a Sony exclusive um, to the PlayStation 4. I don't know if it came out on PC. I think it did. Could be wrong. Um, and, you know, Kojima has always favoured the, the Eastern um, companies like PlayStation, of course, started his career on the Japanese MSX computer with Metal Gear. And, of course, went straight to the PlayStation 1 on Metal Gear. And of course, you know Kojima technically didn't work on the original Silent Hill games and they were Konami games. But if Kojima is getting in with, um, you know, Sony, we could have potentially for the PlayStation 5, because I don't think we will be getting anything on the PlayStation 4 um, anytime soon in terms of Silent Hill. Maybe a Castlevania game, but I don't think anything Metal Gear or um silent hill will be coming for the ps4 but if the playstation 5 and uh, this deal goes through and sony does acquire the right to those three massive franchises especially you know seeming how all three of those franchises have been really dormant as of late we did have a couple of games in this last few years but nothing that really you know was to write home about metal gear solid 5 again i have i've only played a little bit of it it's a good game but some people still feel it doesn't hold up as well as it should have. Um, so personally, I really hope this deal goes through because Kojima is an amazing game. Um, you know, I don't know if the designer, I forgot what, he, what his main title was, but he works on some amazing games. You know, Metal Gear Solid is just an example of how good his games were. Now, you don't have to like the games, but you have to respect 
the, 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 the intricacy and the, and how overly complex some of these games really are. You know, PlayStation 1 Metal Gear Solid, the Psycho Mantis boss fight, you know, how amazing was that? Where you had to plug your controller into the second port to beat him so he couldn't read your thoughts. He'd read your memory card and go, you like playing this game, don't you? That was just crazy back in the day. And that was on PlayStation 1. Just imagine with the modern technology of the PlayStation 5, what they could do with that. Now, what do I think will come of these three series if this deal goes through? Uh, Metal Gear. So what do I think we'll get with a Metal Gear? I think we will get a complete Metal Gear collection. Kind of like they did with the HD collection. However, the HD collection of Metal Gear Solid was, was in my opinion, a bit of a disappointment. Because we only got Metal Gear Solid 2, 3 and Peace Walker um, on, on this collection. It is a good collection, um, but we didn't get the first game. The first game only ever got remade on the GameCube as the Twin Snake. Now just imagine if we got Metal Gear Solid 1 Twin Snakes um, remake or remastered. A remaster or even a remake of these old games because you know the Resident Evil remakes have been amazing. So just imagine playing Metal Gear Solid 1 remade with modern graphics, you know modern you know all of the, the th all of the new modern designs to it. Um, we could definitely get you know Metal Gear Solid One, Two, and Three remade. Possibly the the portable games could get a port over. Maybe even Metal Gear Solid Four and even Metal Gear Solid Five. Kojima might even think about going Metal Gear Solid Five. I'm going to remake Metal Gear Solid Five in the way that he truly envisioned it. And possibly even a Metal Gear Solid 6 or even a new Metal Gear series. Now we did have Metal Gear Survive um, and that game was, well, I only played the demo of it and I thought the demo was kind of fun for a co-op game. But as a Metal Gear game, it just bombed big time. You know, it was just a great, it was a good idea, you know, like a survival based Metal Gear game. But it just bombed, you know, it's just a great example of... You know, Konami trying to do something to continue on their series, but without the, the person who made Metal Gear, Metal Gear, it just goes to show, you know, sometimes in life, you know, you you know, you, you need the original creator to work on, on something to make the game special. Even a Metal Gear Solid, even Metal Gear Rising, it would be nice to see another Metal Gear Rising game. Um, which was the hack and slash game. I enjoyed Metal Gear Rise and I thought it was a really fun game. Definitely worth checking out. Um, it was different, but it was still a fun hack and slash game. It'd be nice to see what sort of spin-offs they could do with Metal Gear, even a traditional Metal Gear game or remakes. Um, same thing with Castlevania. We could definitely see a um, traditional, maybe even a Castlevania 5 because we never got Castlevania 5. Imagine, you know, this, we all know and love the original trilogy of um, Castlevania on the NES, but the Super Nintendo's um, Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4, in many people's opinion, was the best Castlevania 2D game because of how great the controls were and the game was just almost perfect it was a massive a massive achievement by Konami back in the day and I know Kojima didn't work on it but imagine just how amazing it would be if we got a traditional Castlevania game you know even if it was a Metroidvania like Symphony of the Night um, could they go back and remaster some of their classics we did get the Konami Castlevania collection which was basically a bunch of the Castlevania games released digital and um, that was kind of cool, I guess. I haven't personally got it myself, but I know that was a pretty cool little idea. But, you know, if Sony acquired the rights to Castlevania, we could potentially get a traditional Metroidvania or the traditional size world, or we could get another hack and slash 3D game. Done right, it could be a fantastic game. Look at God of War. Um, you know, how great God of War was. You know, that game got game of the year. Now imagine that style of game, but with Castlevania. Do you think people would buy it? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Um, and even Silent Hill, the big Silent Hill. I personally love the Silent Hill series. I haven't actually played many of the Silent Hill games myself. But I have seen playthroughs of most of them. And I even do like the movies. Now there is talk about new Silent Hill movies in the works. Which, 
that'd be pretty cool i guess but forget about the movies for a minute um we could potentially have movies for these things because we did we do have a castlevania tv show on netflix and you know could there possibly be a silent hill tv show a new silent hill movie a metal gear solid movie you know the potential is there and i think sony and Ko uh, kojima would make a great team at making all three of those series really well would silent hills be back in the works um will they continue from where they left off or will they completely make a new game will we get remakes of the old one because imagine silent hill 2 or Silent Hill 1, 2, and 3, getting the remakes like Resident Evil 2 did. You know, the possibilities are endless. And I think this is one of the most interesting news in gaming that I've seen as of late. Um, because I, I am, a, I am a, a big PlayStation 4 fan. I am a big Sony fan. Um, I haven't been playing much PS4 as of late. I've mostly been playing Halo. But it would be really nice to see how this all goes forward. Now, we haven't been told... If this is completely true or not, there is deals, there are talks about it. But well, I personally, what what could this possibly mean um, for Konami? Because are Konami doing this for the benefit of their series, or is it because Konami know that they're they're coming to an end? Is Konami coming to an end? You know, that's the name of the title. You know, do we think Konami is coming to an end? Why else would they be going? Here you go, Sony, you can have our franchises. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. Maybe they are just giving Sony the rights to create their particular franchise on PlayStation uh, 5 in the future. Or is it because they are trying to offload some of their big series because they know that they're coming to an end? I don't know the, the full details of it. Maybe you guys can give some insight on all of this um but i thought i would just share this this story um i'm going to keep keep an eye on it see how it all goes you can check it out online um i just sort of give my opinions on it i personally think if this deal goes through it will be one of the best deals that sony have ever acquired and it will be great to see kojima back on the works for the metal gear solid series and of course silent hill castlevania i'm not too bothered about because i'm not the biggest castlevania fan but it would be nice to see a new castlevania game that could potentially be um, a game that could get fans into the series. Like, you know, like I said, with God of War, you don't have to have played the old God of War games to to enjoy the new one. It'd be nice to see if, if they do like a a, a new spin-off, kind of like with a Spider-Man series, you know, game. You know, it, you don't have to have played any previous one to enjoy it. It's a, it's a standalone thing. It's a new beginning. And, you know, it's going to be like, you know, like the M marvel cinematic universe it's a new beginning essentially but um yeah i thought i would share that with you guys today um any other gaming news in 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 the, in the news doom eternal and animal crossing are coming out very shortly um i personally might get doom eternal because i absolutely loved the doom game back in 2016 it was one of the best first person shooters i had ever played in a long time i love the arcade style of those sort of um first person shooters you know they're just really fun games they're not not overly complex they're not crazy about trying to make it as realistic as possible it's just a fun game and um hopefully doom eternal offers some sort of a co-op modes or something if it does have a co-op campaign or some co-op modes i'll probably get it digital on xbox so i can play it with my friend definitely um animal crossing i, I kind of do want to get animal crossing um for my Switch collection, as you can see, my Switch collection is very small at the moment. I haven't played my Switch in a couple of weeks, actually, tell a lie. Um, it's not because I'm bored of the Switch by any means. It's just I just don't really get a lot of time to play it as of late. Um, but I am going, hopefully, down to my parents this weekend, so I'll take it with me and maybe have a couple of games of something while I'm down there. And then next month, I'm going down um, for my birthday. I'll take my PS4 stuff. Um... But yeah, anyway, guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Something a bit different. I thought I would keep you guys up to date with something new. If you guys enjoy these style of videos, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this deal. Do you hope it goes through? Would, what would you hope if this goes through? What would you hope that this achieves? Is it gonna, do you want the remakes? Do you want remasters? Do you want new games in those series, movies, TV shows? Let me know. 
And of course, and of course guys, subscribe if you haven't already and join the family. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the Mad Tiger and also Mixer. I will be um, continuing on with Halo tonight. Uh, me and my friend beat Halo Reach the other night and we started Halo Combat Evolved anniversary last night on the Master Chief Collection. And um, I, I love Halo. Really good game. There will be a Halo Reach um, uh, uh, review video coming up very shortly and also a Halo Wars 2 um, video. Of course, follow me on the Mad Kyger at Mixer. I will be streaming hopefully tonight if my friend comes on. He probably will. If he don't, then I might not do it. I might do something else. We'll see. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, feel free to, of course, oh, sorry, why am I just saying that again? And of course, guys, have a nice day. And I will see you in the next video. Take care and bye-bye.